Happy Saturday. It's Saturday, December 12th, the 12th day of Vlogmas, the third day of Hanukkah. No, that would be the second day of Hanukkah. Third, oh man, I'm sorry. I'm going home. I'm gonna put up our Christmas tree. Shh, don't tell Sue. So the first thing we need is a little bit of atmosphere. So we'll put the fire log channel on. That's the one. If you watch this all the way through at the end, at the end they have, um, they roast a marshmallow. Spoiler alert, sorry. I think that's a good spot. That's where we're gonna put the Christmas tree, right there. It's gonna be good, right there. Sin cupboard with all the chips and stuff. And the Christmas cupboard. I know where it is. So here's the story of this Christmas tree, all right? Um, it was 2001, so it was 19 years ago. It was Christmas Eve in Moncton, New Brunswick. Sue and I had just moved there. Uh, I think we moved to New Brunswick. I think we actually moved in to the hotel. We stayed in a hotel um, on the 4th or 5th, maybe the 6th of December. I can't exactly remember, but we couldn't find a place to rent. So that meant we were going to be in the hotel until until the new year, for sure, like through Christmas. Um, uh, finding a place to rent in December is hard anyways. Anyone who's ever tried, I can appreciate it. Um, in New Brunswick, in Moncton, of all places, it's, it's next to impossible <laughs> to find a place to rent. So we were in our hotel room. We were going to be in our hotel room. Um, we didn't have a tree. So Sue went to bed Christmas Eve, and um, we were only together for about a year and a half at that point or so. And um, we, uh, I, I, across the street was a Walmart of all places. So I went there because they were open late on Christmas Eve. It was the only thing in town that was open at all. And um, there was this Christmas tree. So I came back to the hotel room, quietly set up the tree and decorated it and I put a couple presents underneath there so when Sue woke up in the morning she was she was um she was surprised I know people have all kinds of sentimental reasons to have their ornaments or things with their tree this whole tree this whole thing is it means so much to me it stands two foot tall but with the star well it's about two foot three and uh, I wrote a song about our Christmas tree. Man, I hope you like it. <laughs> Happy holidays, everybody. This is me. I'm Wayne. This is the Wayne Report. I'm signing out for the day. And um, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks. He don't know the story.
of our little Christmas tree. Bought it at a Walmart, it was late one Christmas Eve. It only cost 30 bucks, but we didn't have a lot. A tree to hold our memories, this is what we got. Well, our little Christmas tree stands about two foot three. Oh, our little Christmas tree means a lot to me. It's made up of hopes and dreams, it's made of young love. Holds all the memories I'm so proud of. We were two young kids and we didn't have a home. The good times and the bad times made it on our own. So you can laugh and joke or crack a cricket smile. For all the ups and downs, it was worth all the while. It's made up of hopes and dreams, it's made from young love. Hold all the memories we're so proud of. Now it's standing in the window, standing proud and tall. Oh, our little tree's two foot three, but it isn't all that small. So now you know the story of our little Christmas tree. No, it doesn't look like much, but it means the world to me. Well, our little Christmas tree stands down two foot three. Oh, our little Christmas tree, it means the world to me. It's made up of hopes and dreams, it's made from young love. It holds all the memories I'm so proud of. Yes, it holds.